Hey, Toten here, and what software do you use for screen capture and capturing off your webcam? Today, it's QuickTime versus Camtasia. Today, I have Camtasia and QuickTime running at the same time. I'm using my webcam from my iMac, and I'm using my podcast microphone, my Sterling Audio S50, going towards both softwares as well. So we can see what the processing, what the differences are. And I noticed before when I used QuickTime, there was a little bit of a sync issue. So let's test that right now. We'll do this once. And we're going to do it one more time for the Camtasia, see if there's any sync issues there. And let's do that a little more swifter. There we go. And a reminder, you should be able to see, see graphics right now to tell you what I'm using when. And let's see if there's any sync issues. So I'm going to talk for one, two, three, and one, two, three. Now let's move on a little bit. Let's go see how the screen capture side looks different, huh? Okay, so now I have on full screen capture here, both on Camtasia and QuickTime. Now notice I don't see anything on Camtasia up here. In order to stop the recording, uh, there is uh, a shortcut to do that, or I can just go to stop recording down here. There is a shortcut as well. So I have Final Cut Pro pulled up, uh, just so you can see how it looks, you know, on a full screen. That had nothing to do with the recording software that had to do with Final Cut Pro. So let me just throw some other things on here. Let me just kind of yank menus around here so, so you can kind of see how well you can look at things. And this is pretty blown up anyways. Uh, there's nothing on that audio track. So let's go ahead and pull this up. Maybe shrink that down. So what you got to ask yourself is, can you follow along? Is this decent enough quality to follow along? And again, I am still using the audio recording on both of these as well. Maybe it's because I'm playing both Camtasia and QuickTime, but it's so much memory, it's hard for me to play with this right now. Play with the, you know, Final Cut Pro. And QuickTime does take a lot more memory, and the files are a lot larger than Camtasia. But... Let's think about recording, you know, something else. Maybe we only want to do a partial window. So let's go ahead and do that. And does it make a difference how you send audio? Everything makes a difference. Anyway, so this is a custom region. I have both of them on a YouTube video on YouTube. Let's just play this a little bit more from a single mic. Today, we're comparing a USB soundboard to... Okay, so are we seeing a difference between the two programs going on here? Let me know in the comments. Rate, subscribe. Hopefully, we learned uh, what we want to use, QuickTime or Camtasia. Yes, a lot of times QuickTime is free, but it also comes with, you know, it's really large files. Uh, every time I finish taking one of these videos, I have to put it on an external because the files are just huge. Camtasia is quick. It's easy. And now let's take a look at them. You know, let me know what you think about quality wise. Also, let me know what else do you want to see a side by side comparison with? So thank you once again. And please check out the rest of my channel. We're doing a podcast in like a round table scenario. Let's see how this works.